called blessings in a backpack. The Waukesha County organization tries to make sure children do not go hungry on the weekends when they don't get free lunch at school. And joining us now to talk about this volunteer organization and the events coming up to raise money for those blessings is Regina Estrada, executive director of Blessings in a Backpack. Waukesha County. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. This is great. So let's first of all talk about your organization. You feed a lot of children over the weekend. How do you right. make that work? Well, we uh, we rely on the schools to give us the number. We, in our volunteer organization, we have no idea who the children are who get the, I kind of call it the HIPAA of hunger. I don't need to know. We don't need to know. Okay. So the schools uh, we started out with free and reduced, but there's also needy kids in addition to the free and reduced. So it's up to the schools to give us the numbers. And we go to the classrooms with, with the bags, mm -hmm. and we leave, we leave the bags there, and then they get distributed into the kids' backpacks every week, the bags of food that we give. And this food you were just saying, uh, it's a, a Clements beef stick, things that can, right. um, beef or only things that can be kept over the weekend. Right, Not, nothing perishable, nothing... So sadly, nothing fresh, like mm -hmm. no fresh fruit or anything. But we give a fruit cup, we give uh, applesauce, beefaroni, yeah. oatmeal. And it's, it's individual sizes and it's things that the kids can also prepare themselves. And, and hold them over until they come back right. to school the on Monday. The hope is that then on Monday they don't come back to school they come back to school ready to learn, not thinking, okay, when is my, when yeah. is my meal? When is my next meal? And how many children are you able to help? Right now we're helping about 1,200, just a little over 1,200 kids. And we started out in 2012 only feeding 25. Wow. So it's been great. 1,200, huge blessing for those families, but there are right. a lot of children that are not being fed. Right. And we're only in Waukesha County. So the numbers that, that I'm giving you are, there's 4,600 kids in grades K through five in Waukesha County that are eligible for this. We're only feeding 1,200. So there's 3,400 kids that are yeah. left that we haven't been able to reach yet. Going hungry on the weekend. So the right. event that you have coming up later this month is right. to help you expand that mission. Right. We're always hoping to expand that mission. And so our event is called Bridge the Gap because really what we're doing is we're bridging the gap from Friday at 3 to Monday at 8. And so we have a great fun event. It's going to be held at the Ingleside Hotel this year um, on Saturday, October 13th. And it's a, a gala. This is uh, one of the items that you're giving away at so the gala. This is actually the goodie bag that the that the attendees will get. Vera Bradley was very kind and gave tens of thousands of bags to mm -hmm. our National Blessings in a Backpack organization, and the, and then in turn they gave them to the local chapters. And when we saw them, we were we said we are signed up. This is great. And then we have a lot of. Uh, uh, items that go in it that the that the attendees get to take home. Well, how fun and they're yeah. also giving back to local children. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly. So, thank you so much for coming in. You can find out more about the Bridge the Gap Gala on sat Saturday, October 13th on our website, including ticket information and how else you can give. Right. Uh, that's on our website again, TMJ4.com.